After 50 years of equipping young women with the skills necessary to be strong leaders and women of character, there is no doubt that a rich history lingers here between the college walls and cherished halls of Cromwell High School. <laughs> Throughout school history, Cromwell has been fostered in a community of sisters who are beautifully diverse, intellectually sound, and fearfully and wonderfully made. This is an ordinary place. No, I'm not referring to the all-female student body, though that plays a part in it. I'm talking about the special combination of a supportive faculty and staff, the values instilled by our sisters of St. Joseph, the incredible amount of Cooper pride, the constant encouragement to deepen your relationship with God, and the intrinsic sense of family made evident the moment you walk onto campus. It is this particular mix that creates an unparalleled experience that can only be found at Crumble and I am honored to call this place my alma mater. My name is Otto Foy, and I am a proud graduate of the class of 2013. I was invited here today with my longtime mentor, Ms. Sarah Daniel, to reflect on my time here in Condolette and the impact that the sisterhood has had on my life. In all honesty, I was a bit apprehensive in approaching this because I didn't know what I would say. I mean, I love the school with all my heart, but how would I find the words to speak on an experience that looks so different for each and every one of us? There really isn't one universal definition, but I think it's best understood with an analogy that aligns with this week's theme. Let's say that 50 years ago, a seed was planted here on Winton Drive, and over the years, the seed blossomed into a beautiful flower garden. Everyone at Condolette is bound together by the belief of their Catholic faith and the understanding that each one of us is unique like a flower. Different colors, different petals, each of them is the purpose and growing at a different rate, but all together makes a beautiful flower garden. Now, each of these flowers, and yes, that's each and every one of you, cannot grow without the proper nurturing. Like I mentioned before, the Grandelette experience is a special mix that looks different for everyone, but after four years, how to blossom into the beautiful young woman that you're meant to be. This experience gave me three things, and that's what I'm going to touch upon today. The passion to be of service to others, the power to be myself, and the lifelong bond of a sisterhood. So the first one. Fashion to be a service to others. Um, every student here is blessed with different talents or skills, and it is so important to share these God given gifts with others. That is why Kamala places a heavy emphasis on humbling yourself and being of service to others. With community service and CSJ values ingrained in the curriculum, coupled with service opportunities like Ben of Air, Urban Bunch, and more, there's no doubt that volunteerism is part of the Kamala culture. I even remember it as being the cool thing to do while I was here, which is actually really cool. Um, what I always found truly amazing and unique to CHS was the amount of students who were inspired to start their own service initiatives, despite all the ones offered from school. So now I have a question for all of you. Has anyone here started their own service initiative or their kind of service club? Okay, I see you. Great. That's awesome. And who here has considered it or is thinking of doing it? You can raise your hand here. That's awesome. Like, you should be very proud of yourself. There's <laughs> many organizations that build well in underprivileged local communities to bring therapy dogs for stress relief to local communities. Cromwell students have always gone above and beyond to find ways to help others, and that is truly a beautiful trait. Taking what I learned from high school, I went to college with the same desire to be of service to others. After three years at the University of Southern California, I have come to realize that I'm truly passionate about giving opportunities to others through one-on-one -on -one interactions. I got involved with organizations like College Down and College Access Day, which focuses on college readiness for underprivileged youth in the LA community. Involvements like these have inspired me to start my own organization in the future that accomplishes similar objectives for young girls. And Carmel has sparked this fire in me, and for that I am forever grateful. I would never have been able to devote myself to these causes without first gaining the power to be myself. My confidence and self-assurance can be credited to my experience here at Condolet. It is in this space that girls are constantly uplifted and invited to come as they are, like yesterday, and reminded of how beautiful they are inside out as there are many different outlets for self-exploration and expression. In addition to the very nurturing environment, I had some amazing teachers that saw potential in me that I didn't see myself. Um, any teachers here who uh, taught me during the four years here, could you please stand? Thank you. Thank 
environment really changed my life and positive, positively influenced the way that I view myself. Without their encouragement to take those difficult AP courses or try out for a sports team or get involved in specific clubs or even run for class council and ASP positions, I promise you that I would not be standing before you today. I found the strength to be my true authentic self during my four years here and has empowered me to keep pushing myself and discover more of my abilities. In college, I used multiple leadership platforms to give others encouragement to be themselves and be their best selves. As a former Bible study leader at USC's Catholic Church, current building government advisor, a two-time resident advisor in the dorms, and the current president of a business student organization for students of color, I continue to do what I can to provide resources to others to help them succeed. It was here at Carmel Ed where you taught how to be leaders and told that we are absolutely unstoppable. This is a powerful message that not every girl between the ages of 14 and 18 are fortunate enough to receive. But you are, and I please ask that you don't take that for granted. I would be remiss not to mention this third and final takeaway from my time at Carmel Ed, and that is the importance of a lifelong sisterhood. You come here and don't really know what to expect, being part of an all-female student body. At first, it's kind of weird only having girls in class, but then second semester of freshman year rolls around, you get used to it. Then junior year happens, and you're like, wow, boys, what to do? <laughs> <laughs> um, but then you get used to that, too. So it's not until after you graduate that you realize that this is a very interesting and impactful, unique environment. I personally don't have any sisters. I mean, I love my mom, and my, mom, my dad and my brothers are great, too, but I've always, always, always wanted a sister. And this may sound very cliche, but coming to Carmelette made me feel like I gained 800 sisters. And even coming back today and yesterday, like, I felt the bond and the love um, all over again. Um, coming to school every day felt like one big family reunion. There's nothing in this world that compares to the earth shattering screams of the Carmelette rally, or the celestial sense of peace of the Carmelette liturgy, or to the love and happiness felt at Carmelette every Valentine when you dance to break the chains of violence against women. That's very powerful. Um, this sense of unity and sisterhood is something that you will never forget. You may remain friends with the girls you meet here once you graduate, but as you mature and start to move away, you find yourself longing for similar bonds in your new communities. Recently at USC, I had the pleasure of hearing Robin Roberts give a talk about her time in the industry, and she loves the most good ones. One of my favorite quotes from her was, proximity is power. You have to position yourself for success. And this really resonated with me because even though I did not join Sorority College, which was seem like the natural next step coming from Carmelet, um, I found ways to create new system in bonds and keep strong, influential women in my network. I purposely gained some amazing female mentors while in college by networking with female professionals and CEOs, while also making strong female friendships. I found that such bonds are crucial to helping you develop into a woman of heart, a woman of faith, and a woman of courage. Sound familiar? Mm -hmm. In closing, I just wanted to re-emphasize not to take your four years here for granted, because you truly are blessed to call yourself a Carmelite leader. If for some reason you feel like you don't have the support you need, or you feel disconnected from the community, I encourage you to please reach out to someone. Um, there are a lot of resources here that everyone wants to see to succeed. I also want nothing more than to see everyone here reach her full potential. So don't be afraid to reach out to me either. Never stop growing, never stop learning, and never stop striving to be all of which we need.